Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about web workers and how to make it really easy to use in our everyday life and I'll show you how it can be done with very simple lines of code and we are going to have a lot of fun. Let's begin. First to begin with right web workers what it is um, I think you might have a little bit of context about it that's why you come to this video but even though you can skip to the next section if you don't want to go through all this what I'm talking to talk about JavaScript as you know is a single threaded application it does asynchronous operations through event loops and you can think about angular cycles or stuff if you're in angular so but it is basically a single threaded application but now nowadays our application in our organizations are getting complicated and more complicated so in my past organization i had to deal with tables which contained uh, even a million rows or 10000 rows in those cases if we wanted to manipulate data in that table it used to take a lot of time and that can be done but that sacrificed the performance so basically when we were doing operation ui was a little bit choppy even the operation was small it was choppy we generally tend to not use web workers that much because it's not that intuitive to use as we have uh, singleton classes or like our services or components it's not very straightforward to think about it but you know i have also worked in java and c sharp and wpf and a lot of stuff in all of those we have a worker thread basically a main thread where we show our ui and a thread where we actually do our operations and they have made all architecture around it in javascript somehow i found that found that missing in angular it's actually very simple to implement web workers and we'll see how first of all let's start with our code which we can see on our screen right now this piece of code, as you can see, is basically a small animation which I have done through where we are, where we are requesting this request animation frame. Know that you might not use these kind of animation frames. This is only to showcase a very simple example. I could not download complete organizations big code or I don't have big database sources. But yeah, you can experience same things in table and stuff. But to begin with, we have this animation frame where we are basically changing the translation of this animation. You can see our my last video, how I wrote this code till here and what it does basically. It is basically going to move uh, element in our screen that is this div slightly to the left, uh, sorry to the right. And then when, when it reaches a certain limit, then it starts to move it towards left as you can see in this set of lines you can pause this video and see these lines by yourself and it is basically infinite loop so this method calls again animation frame again and again and again so how does it look it looks something like this so we have a ball which keeps on moving toward from one end to another end if you refresh our page it starts like this and now we have a button where we have added a basically a method handle long operation this guy is calling a method which basically simulates a long operation it's basically we have kept an infinite loop where it is repeating itself until it does that loop until certain specific period of time so we have given 2500 millisecond in our ts file so it will iterate till it, it is 2500 milliseconds as you can see on the screen if i click our screen is stuck for 2500 milliseconds and then it moves again and again and again now how to solve this via web workers that's very simple just go ahead and type angular web worker right and you can see in angular article a very clear schematic design has been given where you can as you generate your components you can generate your web worker let's go ahead and do that so as you can see, I might have made some mistake, but as you can see, we have generated a web worker file. Now this made few changes as it created a file called example web worker. If your application is not configured for web workers till now, it will also configure your TS config file where it adds a basically new web worker config and then it changes angular JSON where it basically says that for worker configuration, go and check this file. 
let's see what it did in our if we go in our worker class we can see there is a event listener and then we have we are posting a message of response let's go ahead and make some changes which this angular is saying after you generated a web worker it has given an example what it will create in app worker and then it has given an example what it will do in app component.ts file let's just take this and try to write in our code all right so our application is ready and you can see that worker sent a response that means our page is connected to worker now let's try to move our long operation into worker So as you can see right now, we have created our worker class. First of all, whatever changes, whatever changes we had in our worker, basically we are listening to a message. It is sending a data, and then according to that data, we are processing. We are doing same long operation, and then responding back with our result, whatever we got. In our app component, we created our worker in constructor, and then we just. Uh, we we were listening for any messages which come from our worker class and then just putting that data in our result that's why we see long operation was done in 2500 millisecond and instead of calling this method directly we just asked worker to do that message worker to do that operation so in that case our screen doesn't get stuck even if we refresh our page the screen doesn't get stuck we can do our long operations and return get data back even we can persist some data in this place so we can write so we can do long operation and then wait for our counter value if we click again the counter value should increase as you can see it increased here so what is happening is basically again we are calling our math, our worker class doing some operation there and then returning the value as you know this is not that much intuitive in last video where i was talking about web workers as you can see that in description first of all if you haven't that is one really good video we were trying to create a framework where calling web workers becomes as easy as we call any method in a class i told about we can subscribe to results we can create promises and stuff lot of things can be done but why to create the wheel when it is already there there is a really good library out there which i i would say to use it's really strongly typed and it's really good let's try to see which library that is what i'm talking about the library name is as you know npm web worker angular so if you go to this library this library hasn't been updated for some time but i hope uh, i have raised some pull request to update with latest angular uh latest angular code and hopefully this library will be updated according to that so you should have you should not have any trouble let's start by in installing this library and try to use it by the way the schematics which is there let me try to do that once and we'll see if that works so as you know the schematics for that library is not working we cannot automatically generate worker as you can see here the problem is that uh, the library is a little bit old and the libraries have been updated in angular 13 but let's just try to create that application without schematics it's really easy for that just we are going to copy this app worker and use it for our case it will be example worker one thing which you have to note is keep this reference library web worker thing present otherwise angular cannot recognize this as worker worker and you will get lot of errors keep that present and at end of all imports it should not be before your imports it should be after your imports two points to notice then the next thing which we have to do is configure our workers in a module which it has provided so you can see that it the, you can ignore the first point because angular has changed 
but we should definitely consider second point where it is talking about that you should not use angular coal materials there so you cannot use angular coal components in this one just be careful about that So you can see this error once when you are in installing this application. When it does IV build, I think this will fix the problem. Let's see. As you can see, this fixed the problem. Even if you're getting that error, just run build once and the problem will be resolved. As again, I have already raised a PR to update this to Angular 12, 13. That should fix the problem for you if that is merged. As per this uh, time of this video, it has not been merged, but let's hope that soon it gets merged. Now let's try to implement this worker in our component. So you can see that our worker is getting called because in our ng init, basically it's lifecycle hook on worker init, I am calling hello world. Before we begin, okay, before we move forward, there are a few things you have to take care. Since that library is a little bit old, there are a few fixes which you have to work with. First of all, if you go ahead and see Angular Web Worker, right? And if you go here, in this you can see that new URL worker class is created with this new URL and meta import thing, right? But in this library, this uh, library is not talking about writing that as part of our worker that thing needs to change we need to write new url in our import meta url there so i actually banged my head for some time to fix this problem for you so you don't have to see this error if you remove this there is no error thrown but it doesn't work let me just show you that there is no compile time error and there is no runtime error it's simply hello world will not be printed. Your worker is not working. As soon as it tries to connect to it, it fails without sending any error whatsoever. No console errors are present. So in this case, you just have to remember that you need to write the format which Angular in which is written in Angular. You need to write import meta URL with that. Now let's get to how to write methods in this example worker. As you can see, I just have to write As you can see, there is an error. Now, this is this is the thing which I wanted to show you. Strong typing. Now, long operation is going to return a number. So this guy knows that result is a string and we are going to send a number. So instead of writing it as a string, let's just post this as number because we know that result is just going to show our counter. Let's try to save and see what happens. So as you can see, long operations is working and our counter value increased. That's what I'm trying to say. This is a framework which you can use in our in your code. You can call different methods and this since this is in a promise format, you need to write await with this. But also this is just a call method. You can even write observables, promises, whatever you want to do in worker in this way your application gets free free time free time free you don't have to do any operation in your main thread all your operations can be separated out to a separate thread and you can have as many worker as you want since your worker needs to be declared in a module obviously you can go ahead and create separate feature modules and have this worker inside declared inside them additional out of that right in addition to that it also provides a work a way for fallback mechanism. So if you see here in our constructor, we just I just uh, willfully ignored this. But this guy, if you write, it basically creates a client. If your browser is not supporting workers or for some reason you want to have a feature flag where you don't want workers. In that case, you can have this feature check and then create workers if you want. Else it will simply use 
this file directly in your main thread it will not create a worker but call methods inside that worker in main thread if this client is powerful to switch between these two while construction now you can go through this example like whatever is given and see how many different kind of cases we can have we can even create worker pools and then create wo keep workers inside them we can have a uh, lot of getter setter properties by declaring different decorators over that that will be part of different video but i think you got the idea here with workers with this at least angular web worker this library angular web worker you can have a really easy flow to work with you can write workers as many as you want and you can create classes call its method you can call observables what not i hope this thing makes your life very very easy with web workers and i hope this kind of library we should also contribute to it you can go ahead and go to its github repository and then try to raise pr if you find some bugs or you can if you don't want to do that pull this library in a local code and just work with it and improve it you have your choice right thank you everyone that was it for today thanks for supporting me till now if you love this video a like would work for me <laughs> and a subscribe will be really helpful pass this video to whomever you think that this can be helpful that's me god of signing out for today thank you